Okay, so first of all, we start looking at the needle. <laughs> okay. when, uh, some of you guys may have noticed that the needles over the uh, sense of the corner, they get a little bit bent, and then you can't use them anymore. So it's really important that your needle stays straight. are very expensive and they are a pain in the ass to fix if fixable at all so it's really important that the needles stay straight you do not want to bend them okay it's awkward <laughs> right they're a lot harder to work with but you can get them to work a little bit harder to deal with so what we want to do we want to get <laughs> there you go we want to get a nice straight pretty needle you're gonna take your time when you're doing this, especially if you haven't done it for a while. So you don't wanna just like jab your needle into the solution, you're gonna be delicate with it. So take your time, you're starting to set it up, you're dipping it in the solution. There you go. So it might take a few times back and forth to make sure you don't have any air bubbles in your solution, but otherwise, you got it in there, you got your sample, you take it out of the sample, you pull back your air, because remember you need to have air in the needle so you can get your corrected retention time. So once you have it, uh, yeah. So once you have your needle uh, all set to go, you are going to inject your sample. And so I wanted to remind you guys that the injection ports are very hot. Right? So the idea with the injection ports being hot is it goes from the liquid phase into the gas phase. So do not touch the injection port. Here's what happens if you touch the injection port. Okay, so don't touch it. So you're in the injection port. You inject your sample. It recondenses into a liquid. And then it starts spinning around in the GC column. So it spins round and round. Remember that it's interacting with the stationary phase inside the column as it's being pushed along by the mobile phase. So it keeps going. Remember this is all dependent on the compound's boiling point. And eventually, <laughs> Eventually, it exits the column and hits the detector. When it hits the detector, it gets in the chart recorder and, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you get your peak. What? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so this is your first peak. But there's other samples in there, other compounds and they're still spinning around. Doing their thing. <laughs> now the other compounds, they have higher boiling points, so they're still a little bit more in the liquid phase, and they move quite a bit slower. <laughs> One thing you could do, that you guys won't do, but a technique you could do, <coughs> It's called ramping. This would be increasing the temperature of the oven, making the compounds move quite a bit faster. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, here we go. So the second compound exits the column, hits the detector, and we'll call this your second peak. You guys following along so far? <laughs> this is how Dr. Polaris taught it, right? <laughs> so okay, so all your compounds are out, and you have your chromatogram. Really important that you wait. You do not just tear out the chromatogram. Right, you have to wait carefully. Increase the chart speed, you let it go through, you have your pretty chromatogram. Look how pretty. <laughs> you go and you grab 
pairs, grab a pair of scissors, scissors, yeah. and then you're all set, okay? So once you tear it out, you don't just leave, you don't just leave, you want to make sure to analyze it first. So, make sure you give it some thought. <laughs> so before you leave, and I know a lot of you guys just want to get out of there, <laughs> you want to get your chromatograms, leave, if you guys have plenty of time, make sure that you're calculating your retention times before you go. Make sure <laughs> you're calculating the area under the curve. She's looking for the area under the curve. And <laughs> lastly, once you have those, you can get your percent composition. For your oil, you have multiple samples or multiple peaks, but ideally for fractions one and five, it's just one compound. So once you have those, then you can be on your way. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.